Okay, so I've gotten everything uh, removed from the roof. So the last things to do is uh, remove the rear cap and hopefully the front cap. Right here, this trim actually holds the, uh, the cap on for the most part. This insert comes out, then there's a whole bunch of screws behind it, and then this molding comes off. There are some screws underneath, but the same process over here. Uh, I believe my customer told me that they had um, a little bit of an incident with this rear cap already and it's been repaired. So I'm a little bit leery about taking it off because it might've been repaired with, I don't want to damage any body work. But it's pretty cool once this is off because this is all just decorative. You can see the back of the motor home, the ductwork that goes from the basement AC to the roof. Gives you lots of good access that you wish you have as a technician. Oh, I gotta turn off so many fans just so you guys can hear me. So of course this trim I took off. Uh, there was a little bit of a catastrophe. The uh, vinyl insert that just got normally double-sided taped on had been glued on. And so it tore. And the paint on the bodywork that was painted on there started peeling off too. Uh, painting vinyl trim is not a great idea. But you can kind of see it flaking off. So that's another uh, thing I'm gonna have to figure out what to do. But you can see right here, there was body work that was performed. So I gotta be careful when I'm taking this off. Uh, so under that trim, there's just some more screws. You notice this is actually the wrong type of screw because it's all rusty. There's a cabinet screw. Winnebago doesn't use these uh, industry standard uh, square uh, star uh, Phillips bits. They only use Phillips number two for the most part. <laughs> uh, so that's already the wrong screw that's in there. So I gotta take these screws off, do the same thing on the other side. Definitely shouldn't use a screw that's gonna rust on the outside. <sighs> well, since it's been off before, maybe it won't be too bad of a job taking it off a second time. That side's done. I have to take this backup camera off. This camera was replaced also, so it's not the original one. So somebody ran a new cable. It's running pretty tight, so I have to find out why it's so tight. The camera's too far away. It's right here. So those are the screws I have to get out. And then right here. Ah, it's hurt. Ah, it hurt. Ah. There's the uh, plug. So I have to get that loose. They did not leave any real slack here. I can't even take this camera out very easily to give myself more slack. Okay. So this is actually pretty loose now. Um, before I go much further, because I got something else to do here real fast. Now, I don't know if you can see this wire harness right here. Runs to the back, goes all the lights, the lights on top. I was about to cut this free because I just could not see where Winnebago... Normally Winnebago puts a quick connect plug where they go to the, the bodybuilder coach harness. You know, I think I got that backwards, uh, the chassis manufacturer. but puts a bodybuilder plug at any rate this is a workhorse chassis so where it goes to the workhorse is way back there so i just have to cut those zip ties loose 
fish this uh, forward off the frame. There's a main ground I gotta take off. And at least disconnect the uh, power or the uh, tow plug. And then we'll be ready to go. Ready? Call this guy to the top. Ready to go. Because look at this popping off and the pressure slide down. That's my hope. I've done this before. What do you see for? Go to the bottom? I'm on the bottom. So now you've seen what's behind the rear cap. Oh. The letter Y. Why? Did you build it like this? Wow! Ah, stop 